Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am unboxing the new glossy box and it's the November one. So this is how it looks, it's in a pink box. And because I thought I was recording yesterday, I already opened the box. So it's not as normally comes, but we'll try this again, shall we? We're gonna undo the bow. Oops, gonna take everything out under the bow and this is the leaflet we get and then it says uh, next month we get in we know skin needs extra care which is why next month we're bringing you symbiosis glycolic acid RNA RNA overnight rejuvenating eye serum I'm hoping I said all that right and hopefully you can see it looks like this first thing i want to open is the la splash eyeshadow palette which looks like these Let's see if you can see you can see better it, the box looks the same as the palette but you can appreciate like the packaging a lot more in the uh, actual palette and how beautiful it is it looks like this so i think it's the perfect palette because it has the white it has a black and then it has like a light shade which could be the transition shade which is pink and then we have like an orange brown a dark brown and then we have the shimmers which is like pink uh, this is more like a gold one golden eyeshadow a golden shimmer and then we have like a bronzy one so I think it looks really really nice this palette is actually 29 pounds yeah 29 pounds so oh I didn't say if you're new to glossy box and um, if you subscribe for a year it's 11.75 but if you want to do it monthly and not yearly it will be 13.25 so obviously you save a bit of money subscribing for a year and um, you always get five products and they're always so nice it's like a really nice treat every month i love it um so yeah this palette is 29 pounds so that's like triple what i paid that's like amazing right so let's get to the next product <laughs> so Going with the palette, we have um, an It's Spectrum uh, makeup brush. It looks really nice, like it looks really thick on here and it looks really fluffy as well. So I think it will be really nice. Um, so yeah, to get like, probably put your transition, get the shadow all over the crease, it looks really nice. So this is, 7.99 which is not bad i think it goes really really good with the palette i like that next we have argan oil from morocco so this is how it looks and it's a repairing dip conditioner it strengthens and restores dry damaged hair and you get 50 ml in there so that's quite good i think you could use this for like three times depending on the length of your hair obviously and uh, it says it's super strengthening and hydrating that will repair the look of dry damaged hair and over processed hair directions so on clean wet hair um, just put it on the damaging areas and leave in leave on for like 10 minutes and rinse it well so yeah another great product this is two pound but it's not bad you know because i feel like i get really damaged hair so this will be really good for me i actually love these i think it's pronounced kevea professional and it's like a shit mask and it says recharge and restore purple moonstone glitter gel mask so it looks amazing doesn't it um so yeah it just says simply cleanse your face with warm water and pat dry apply the mask and leave it for, leave it for 15 minutes so yeah i really love these and these are two pound 49 but i think it looks really nice and then la last but not least we have the generation generation clay 
and uh, it's uh, 50 ml in there so it's quite good as well it's like a purple clay mask actually it's purple so I am really really looking forward to trying it and it says apply to apply to clean dry skin and wait about 10 minutes until the mask starts to tighten and then obviously rinse it off gently circular motions so yeah that looks really nice I'm not sure how much this is when I'm editing the video I will let you know because um, on the actual leaflet it's the leave me on autumn mask from mud Masky, which was 35 pounds so I'm guessing if it's a replacement I mean can you see it there here if it's a replacement it will be similar price so I will put it on the screen it's a really nice box eyeshadow palette the brush shit mask a conditioner for your hair and then like a clay mask so you could do I think with this box it will be like a really nice self-care day like you could do your makeup and then when you take it off uh, you can put your mask well cleanse your face put your mask then put your shit mask and then obviously when you if you go in the shower as well you can use these so I think it's nice really nice street so what I thought we'll do today is we'll do a look with the palette so yeah we'll do a look with this palette today I'm just gonna use the brush that we had with the um, with the box so I'm just gonna go with the uh, sunstone oh by the way the names of the palette are really cute like sunstone aragonite tiger sigh um, amber citrine hoping I said that right so yeah it's like a really nice palette so I'm just gonna dip into the pink shade there that's my transition I'm gonna use my Jeffrey mirror and basically I'm just because it's my transition it will just go all over my eye and do the same on the other one this came with the eye obsess in the morphe um, collection and i'm go i am going to go with the ragged eye with which is the orangey brown and i'm going to put this one like here just in the corner and then all of them crease i think this is the perfect palette for like autumn and for like christmas i feel like you get like the browns the deeper browns the gold the bronzy shimmer so yeah just put it a bit closer so you can see so I just put it all over my crease and then I'll do the same I'll do the same on the other eye I love the way these are blended these are blended really nicely and this brush is like really easy to like um, put it in the corner and because if you use a really big brush I feel like it goes all over the place so it's like the perfect brush to put the pigment just where you want it I am going to use like products we um, received before with the um, previous glossy boxes and this is uh, LA Splash um, brush and I am going to use Tiger Sigh which is the deep brown and put it right in the corner so I'm going to put it just in the corner here Just, just in the corner of my eye, I'm not uh, dragging it to the crease. And I'll do the same on the other eye, on the other eye. So just in the corner. And I'm blending it as well. 
Oh, this is my JH36 from Jacqueline. A bit more just there and there as well. That's better. Yeah, like that. So now we are just gonna go with the uh, shimmers. I want to use them all, so I'll use this one for my inner corner. Then I'll use this one at the beginning of my eye and then I'll use this one in the middle so you can see all the colours. I'm going to use my Real Techniques in a corner brush. So I'm going with rose quartz as I said before. And just put it in my inner corner. I think I'll leave it like that for now and then I'll come back when I've done my shimmers. I'm gonna go with my fingers. I'm, go I'm going with citrine. I think that's how you say it. It's the um, gold one anyway. I love this gold shade it really looks like it's called citrine and I think it's because it has like it's a gold but it has like this like orangey hopefully you can see but it has like this orangey undertone and I'm gonna do the same on the other eye how beautiful that is wow I love that colour. That would be the perfect colour for like autumn, like to do like a like I did with the Brahms, but for Christmas as well, that gold could look really nice on Christmas. Feels like a win-win with this palette. I'm gonna go with amber, which is that one. The bronzy one in the middle. So there, just about there. I think it looks really similar to the gold actually, together. Oh, I'm just patting it. Do the same on the other eye. Oh, you can barely tell the difference, I think. Maybe if you used the pink and the bronze, you could really tell the difference. But I still like these colours. I think they look quite cool. I'm going to go with my inner corner again. Because um, I feel like you can see it, but it's not fully there. So, there we go. I think I put too much, too much actually. You can, you can really see it now. <laughs> well, that's what I wanted anyway. So you can see the colours. So, why not? Yeah, they can definitely see it now. So that's good. And do an eyeshadow eyeliner. So I'm, be, I'm going to be using the black. It's in this LA Splash um, brush that we had in a glossy box as well. And let's do the eyeliner. Yeah. 
So I am trying to go not for a super big liner, so I just want like a thin one. Oh, put it on my face. <laughs> Do the same on the other eye. Right, so we got the liner on both. So I'm back, I just put some concealer, some mascara, and um, I think we're now we're just gonna do underneath the eyes. So I'm just gonna go with Aragon Eye, which is the orangey brown. And it's a really beautiful color. I love it. Reminds me of autumn. And I'll do the same on the other eye. Just gonna blend it so it looks a bit softer. And do the same on the other eye. I like that. So I thought we'll go with the Jekka Black Glow Drops uh, to use as my highlighter. Now I'm just going to be putting it, not a lot, because um, I don't want it to be like sub shiny, <laughs> but I'm just going to put it like that. And then do three dots as well on there. And now I'm just going to blend it. And this um, highlighter, you can use it without makeup as well. If you just like, if you want a no makeup look, but you want that like shiny, dewy look, um, you can just put it without makeup and it looks like a healthy glow and it looks really nice. I just thought I'll mention that if, if you didn't really want to wear makeup, um, you can use it like that as well. It just looks like champagne, it looks really, really nice. This is the only liquid highlighter I got, by the way. I don't know, I just don't really trust them, but I like this one. I think I slowly get to know. Um, the liquid highlighters but I'm more like a powder girl highlighter but this one I like this one is nice on my nose there yeah make it shiny Don't really come out. Okay, I think that should do it. And I'm just gonna blend it again. I think I might have put too much this time. So I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> So if you're not like a super shiny highlighter girl, um, this will be perfect for you. This I had on my glossy box previously, by the way. Um, so yeah, I love it. Never heard of Jack the Black, so that was a nice discovery. I, I feel like with glossy box, you discover lo lo loads of products you wouldn't even know they existed. So it's like a really nice way to see if you like that product and you never know you never would have tried it then obviously if you love it then it's really really great discovery isn't it 
I'm just going to use the Beauty Group Blush Duo we had last month. And it looks like this. If you went to subscribe last month, we had this peachy and pink blush in one, which you can use like all in one, or you can use it separate. I'm just going to be using the peachy one, which goes like with my look today. And it has like a subtle shimmer as well, but it's not a lot of shimmer if you don't like shimmer. Um, shimmer blushes. It's only like a subtle shimmer. Put a bit of my nose for that sun kiss look. <laughs> I think that gave me nice colour to my cheek. Hopefully you can see. Like a peachy peachy kind of tone with like a tiny bit of shimmer so I do love it. I'll be using my Steve Laurent liner that we had a few months ago. Just gonna line my lips. You don't really have to line your lips. I'm going to be using the Days Layer Huda Beauty product that I had a few months ago. And you don't have to line your lips with these, but if you want it, it looks nice as well. Um, but I just wanted to use it because I want to use as many products as possible from Glossy Box. And not use the liner in a while, so I said, why not? And this is the perfect, this is the Demi Matte one. And it looks, basically gives you the colour. But it don't fully dry, it gives you that glossy look. So if you struggle with dry lips, this will look really nice on you. So it's, I love it because it's this like nude brown uh, mid shade. I would say it's like between a light brown and a medium brown, but it's in the middle and it gives you that glossy effect. If you want to like a fully matte, they do like matte as well. But I love these because I get dry lips sometimes and it gives you like that hydration for your lips. And when it dries, it don't look like you know when it dries and you can see that that skin like no, I don't like that so that looks really nice and I love that we had the Huda Beauty product in Glossy Box I mean how amazing is that so yeah this was my look today I hope you enjoy my unboxing and my tutorial let me just give you a close-up so you can see how it looks So I think it looks really nice. It, it has that orange golden shimmer and then you can see all the browns. I think you can see that better now. So yeah, it does look really nice. So that's the lipstick that shine. So if you like beauty, I think you should subscribe to Glossy Box. Obviously I'm not on the PR team, but I just love unboxing this uh, box. I, I've been a subscriber since April this year. And uh, it's been a nice treat every month. So if you love beauty, obviously, and you like my unboxings and my previous, you can see my previous unboxings on my channel as well. Yeah, I really think you should subscribe because Glossy Box is a nice treat, as I said. So if you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, have an amazing week.